Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Blakey Wakey. It's time to do another one here. We got another one here. Today we're going to be mostly talking to Cali Lurk. He was eager to talk to me after my previous video that mentioned him. Yes, I don't have time to get through all of the information that I have. I have a ton of information that I'm holding on to for a rainy day. Uh, but uh, that's what we're going to have a discussion with him uh, for the majority of this video. I think it's like an hour and change. But before we do, I got to go through some details here. I'm going to go through what's going on uh, so that you guys have a little bit of context. You know, what's 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 doing what? I would suggest you watch the entire series. Yes, I know it's a billion hours. But if you want to know exactly what's going on, all of the details, that is important. If you want the, uh, the, the updates on what's going on, it, that's important. If you don't want... If you don't want the information, you know, I can't, I can't force it. I can't force it down your throat. As always, this series continues. Uh, as long as there is important information that comes up, you have my permission to tell the Blake apologist to shove it in the comments. Um, you know, we, we got pending refunds, denied refunds, uh, and those are all going to equate to more rattle videos. Uh, as always, as um, the new trend, we're going to tell you what the Maggie status is, uh, and that is that the refunds still haven't happened. Leave, leave me a, a, a love for Maggie down below. Don't put hashtags. That will automatically uh, have YouTube flag those little little babies, and I, I do not have time or the effort required to, to go un, unflag them so that people can see them. Do not use hashtags. Don't use links in the comment section or your comment will not be there. No, it is not. Uh, that's a, not a new thing. That's not a real thing. Uh, it's uh, just a protection YouTube auto mod thing. If you don't want to know what's actually going on, as I mentioned, just don't watch these videos. You're going to cry about it down in the comments, but I, I don't believe you. I think, I think you're just too dumb. I think your attention span is too short uh, and that you're probably a greasy blaker if you're down there complaining. So, for everyone else that is actually watching and sharing, you are very much appreciated. The more pressure on whatnot, the more of these videos, the more information that is available, the more that we dig into this bad boy, and I have been digging very hard. I appreciate every single person that is digging very hard and helping me out with that information. But that makes whatnot more likely uh, to do the right thing here. We need, we, They need to do the right thing. It's taken them some time to do the right thing, which is a little bit concerning. But hopefully they they turn it around. They do the right thing. Uh, everyone is restored. I mean, it's it's. I don't know if everything's going to be fixed. We basically need to get rid of bounties. Uh, the the weird gambling loophole that they're that they're running is, uh, as we've seen, it's just it's exploded and it's not a good idea for anyone involved. Agree or disagree? And that's uh, that's my take. That's what we've seen that that uh, time and time again. As I mentioned in the previous Blank video, the one on screen here, uh, it was weird to see a PMW apology after he didn't want to speak with me uh, with everything I've, I've seen and covered. Yes, I do think he's absolutely full of crap. Uh, and I, I would imagine that everyone else should also. Uh, and it, to me, you know what? It's, it's funny. It's funny that people uh, who are constantly broadcasting themselves online. Uh, here we get the PMW statement on screen just in case anyone hasn't seen that or doesn't want to refer back to the previous video. Uh, but all of a sudden, they're too shy to make an audio or a video statement of some kind. It's That's kind of weird to me. If you were like a really private person, you little camera shy, uh, like uh, <laughs> like Lou Skilla was until I taunted him about it, then you know what? Maybe maybe that's a thing. You can just you can just make a statement. You can turn the lights off if you want. Uh, you can have the world's worst audio quality just in case. So you can just claim that you didn't say any of the things that you said. Uh, all of that is uh, is very. I guess we should probably include all of this. Oh my goodness, guys, we're we're ruining we're ruining the video, we're ruining it. Here we go. Oh no, we're we're still ruining it. We're still there. We go. We're good. All right. Uh, so you can see here we got uh, Funko Mental says stop deleting the comments you don't agree with. Uh, I don't know how much they're deleting. How much? I don't think there's much auto mod on Instagram, so they, they probably are deleting. Uh, it's it's weird that you you're not seeing any any hate whatsoever on there. Uh, is a, it's a it's a little bit weird. I mean, I, I teach their own. If you want to delete the the comments that are calling you a scammer or saying like, hey, but you did this and this and this, then that's that's probably that's probably a scammer thing to do. You know, 
you, you got to block people, you got to delete their comments, you got to make sure that it looks very one sided. If you want to leave comments down below, you can go ahead and do so. If you want to say PMW did not scam me, he's not a scammer, he never scammed in his life. The energy thing was just a coincidence that they all were using the same stuff, they all did the same thing, uh, and they, they all had similar results. Uh, and they were all informed of everything that was going on, but it, it was an, it was an accident. It was an oopsie doopsie. They don't want to say that either, um, because it probably wasn't. So since then, we had P Wood, who put out a similar statement that we're now going to have to recenter onto the screen with this very high tech technology. Uh, all the, uh, the <laughs> all the crew that's in the background that's able to do that for me in real time. Very thankful that I have them and uh, this video will require less editing since I am I am very short on time. There's been uh, there's a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot of scamming uh, and uh, you know, the majority of it is the the Blake stuff. But there's there's still lots of other stuff going on. Um, maybe we'll dig into this statement in the next video. Uh, but this one is going to be this is going to be long enough, guys. I, I'm not going to do that to you. It really looks like they, you, you know, it, very similar statements. We're not going to read through it, but if you guys want to read through it, maybe we will again in the next one. We'll we'll address any of the the things going on here. But uh, to me, it, it really looks. This is bringing me back, bringing me back to high school, maybe to grade school. It really looks like they both copied their homework from the same person. Very similar statements uh, that don't sound very much like them. I don't I don't know them personally. I've never seen them uh, hand in a, an assignment of any kind. Uh, but that's that's what I'm getting from this. And again, neither of them, none of them, I, I should say, none of these Blakers, none of the six, the wild six, uh, want to uh, address the actual video evidence, you know, the, the ones that indicate they were exploiting mappable energies, uh, you know, the, the screenshots uh, with, uh, with them talking about manipulating the, the bins, the odds within the bins. So if you're going to manipulate one thing, surely you're going to, like, exploit something else that is very similar, right? Like, right? All six of the current Blakers doing match the energy with the same darkness ablaze booster packs. People in the chat um, that they even address verbally because we can't see the chat. Hopefully whatnot can see the chat and can look at and see that like, hey, these people have been warned multiple times by the people in chat. Some of which were likely banned for it who are guessing, guessing the energies that are coming up, telling them that it's mappable. And they're like, no, it's, it's random. It's totally random. And they all say the same shit because they all had meetings together and they probably discussed all of that. Um, I, I can't imagine it didn't happen. Maybe we don't get to see all of it in writing. Maybe they were only dumb enough to put certain things in writing. Um, <laughs> we've seen some stuff they put in writing. The, the old the old Slack messages, uh, pretty sketchy. Um, so important here, I think the most important part here is none of them can even disavow or want to say that it had no part in any of the other egregious stuff. So like, okay, if you're all doing the energy scam, Okay, you probably don't want to call out the others doing the energy scam because you did the same thing, right? You can't, if you call them a scammer for doing it, then you also did the same thing because you were doing it with the same packs and you were doing the same game with the same packs that were mappable in the same order and the energies came out in the same order because you were too lazy to actually go through the box and, and put them in like, ran randomize them. You could have randomized them, but you were lazy. So uh, how, how is it that like none of them and not not a single one can just come forward and say that the open bottom vivid packs from Snee were a scam. Her pulling the packs off camera uh, and it coming back as a different artwork. Her pulling the pack off camera, but it didn't quite go off camera, so she got to scoot it over a little bit. How can none of them, none of them can say that that was a scam? None of them can just say like, oh yeah, Snee, I don't know why she did that, but uh, the energy is a coincidence, coincidence, gas. Doesn't happen because guess what? Snee knows that they were doing the same energy crap. Maybe she throws them on it. You, you, you can't throw any of the uh, the people that were also doing the same the same shady behavior uh, under the bus because you know, they're just gonna do the same to you, right? They're, they're, if you if you take them down, they're just gonna bring you down with them. We got the the crabs in the bucket. All right, we've already seen it. Uh, but I uh, should have shown this screenshot in the previous video. This bad boy here. My apologies about the quality. I pull, pulled it from Instagram. Uh, and Instagram on desktop, it, it tends to destroy image quality. It's uh, it's not good. I don't. Instagram sucks. Uh, by the way, I, I hate it so much. 
Um, but this one would have been extra relevant because it's directly connected to the two, the duo, um, the, you know, the likely written for them statement boys. Uh, and we have here PMW saying also something me and P would have been the doing is if you see that you have hit a lot of bounties out of a box and you think it's close to empty on bounty hits, put those packs to the side and fill up a box with all the packs left over within a few streams. You should have a whole box that's been primed for you and you can go on the big run and save your top product for that stream. So again, manipulation, uh, this in itself should be bannable. Uh, not to mention the fact that the energy thing is like next level. That is like, that is, this is like screwing people that is screwing people from both ends, rotisserie style. It's not, it, what the hell? How, how in the hell can you, can you type something like this? You got Blake right underneath it who, uh, you know, you had to read it. It's not like your message pushed that off the screen. Surely as the boss man, you're reading all this shit. Uh, come on, it, it, like, give me a break. Uh, and yes, I've confirmed that this is real from multiple people who were in the Slack chat at the time that this uh, that this went up there, uh, or at some point when it was already in existence. So it uh, it's a real it's a real thing. Not to mention the screenshot data shows that it was not a recent screenshot. This was uh, this was an oldie, an oldie, a classic. Uh, good on whoever uh, was taking screenshots of this older stuff uh, back when it happened. Uh, so we did have Robbie. Robbie, who didn't want to talk to me, also didn't want to talk to me, telling me one of the screenshots wasn't reliable. So that also lends to the credibility of, uh, of this bad boy, of the older screenshots, um, since uh, we have to assume the very recent screenshot is the one he's talking about or claiming that wasn't real. I don't know if it's real or not, but uh, I can confirm that, uh, that this bad boy is a real screenshot uh, from everything and anything that I've seen on it. Uh, real deal. And again, manipulation. If you're going to manipulate one way, if you're going to screw your customers one way, why are you not going to do it another? Uh, and then the fact that you, PMW and P Wood, PMW dropping the me and P Wood. Uh, also, if you look at their writing, again, I'm not saying that they didn't put extra effort in or get someone to proofread their shit for their Instagram apologies or whatever the fuck you want to call them, Instagram um, innocence statements. Uh, this isn't the same person writing this shit. At least not in the in the same mindset. Uh, now that we have that out of the way, the Calular Convo. So little surprise that he wanted to talk to me. Uh, the evidence against them is definitely lacking. Uh, where they weren't doing the same energy shenanigans that we can go back and look at. That doesn't get them off scot free, uh, since they what they were doing could easily be manipulated. Um, when, when you're chasing Japanese stuff, that is all, again, it's very weighable. Again, why, why put it, why put doubt in anyone's mind by taking all of the packs off screen? So we have Japanese packs in abundance, out of the boxes, off camera, with an assistant there. There's, there's, there's no reason for it. Like the, the ability, anyone, whether, whether it's Cali Lurk or anyone else that is doing this, the, the packs should never leave the screen. I don't care if you're doing it legitimately or not. There's no reason that you should ever want anyone to doubt that. And I, I, I wouldn't trust it. I don't think anyone else should. Uh, clearly they did. But again, this is this is just something like you might as well just put your dick out and hand someone a butcher knife and just hope they don't cut your dick off. Like it, it, you're just you're giving all the power uh, to the the individuals running the stream, and it should be it should be within the whatnot rules that you don't the packs never leave the screen. No, not uh, the packs have to come onto the screen and never leave the screen like Snee style. But it should never you open the box. It's bad enough that it would be easy for these people to to con you just by resealing packs. But the fact that they, they can take them off screen, there's a video coming up. I still, there's just a backlog of information where someone gets caught with their pants down, weighing packs on stream. Uh, they didn't realize that uh, there was a reflection uh, and you can see them weighing the packs out on the screen, on the stream, right on live, live action, open the box, weigh the packs in the background, pretend that it never happened. Again, like don't, why? Why is it not a rule that as soon as a box, as soon as anything gets opened whatsoever, it has to stay on the screen? I don't think you should be selling individual Japanese packs regardless. 
but definitely not ones. I mean, we've seen the Japanese boxes can be resealed very easily. So you could, you could, you could have something marked. You could have something where people, you give an indicator to somebody in the stream that you, that here it is. There you go. Again, so take it as as you will, what you will. As you'll see in the call, he almost, but doesn't quite want to say that he thinks the uh, the Blakers were scamming the other ones, the the main time, the main line uh, scammers. Um, he told uh, me before the call that he didn't watch my videos, but I doubt that. Like, within the call, he seemed to know what I was talking about when I mentioned any clips. He wasn't like, "Oh my God, that exists. That's a thing." Uh, so, uh, I, I mean, any of any of these guys, if they're that closely involved, uh, even even if they're short on time, you, you, I got to think that you'll watch as many hours as I pump out. Uh, it's a lot, but also important information, especially if you're if you're directly involved. And you're not watching these, I, I, I think you're either full of shit or like you, you are hard lazy. Like you, you can do something else while you're watching it. And the phone calls, yeah, the phone calls are gonna be long. At least this one, uh, we don't have Lou Skilla who can't use his fucking headphones like an absolute bonobo. But so at least it'll be the audio will be much better. Although there is and there is a snoring dog in the background. Look forward to that. The uh, the most baffling part is why he would have why why would he like the PMW apology? So he knows what's going on. Why and why? Okay, it's gonna, okay, is it gonna work? So why would you why why? And he still has it like after we spoke and I asked him about it. Like if if you're Cali Lurk here and you did nothing wrong. Why the hell are you backing a statement of someone claiming innocence while everything, including a whatnot permanent ban of his account and Blake's account, indicates otherwise? Like, the, the only reason I can think that this might even slightly be a thing is maybe you didn't think I would, I would, I would see it. It would come to my attention. Uh, may, do they have something on them? Do they have some dirt on them? And I maybe they have dirt on him. Maybe he has to play along. Maybe he has to not throw them under the bus either. It's it's weird because I did talk to uh, Cali Lurk about uh, a previous scammer and he was open to talking about that. He did he did front and center say uh, that uh, Tanner's gym was, was scamming. He, uh, so, well, he, but he won't say anything about the, well, not that he won't say anything about the Blakers as you'll see, but he... Again, he's not ready. He's not ready to throw them under the bus. He's not ready to just say like, "Yeah, it looks like they're scamming." You know, you could say it's your opinion. I think that's fair. I think that's uh, a good I good idea uh, to probably toss that out there. You don't have to say yes, they're guilty, and I and put on one of those uh, the the old timey judge wigs with the and get the gavel out and slam it on your desk or anything like that. But like, I don't. What I don't. I don't. There's 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 got to be something there. There's got to be something there, right? guys am i crazy I, I am crazy but let me know if i'm crazy on that there's uh some other interesting stuff in the call that you won't want to miss it's it's wild to me that whatnot would also allow um a setup in which it was more profitable for someone to abandon their personal account to stream on the blake alt account so you're like blake tcg or whatever blake rips uh the extra accounts um while giving Blake half the profits from those streams, uh, this to me looks like another um, no seller fee exploit that was happening right in front of whatnot that whatnot was allowing to happen, essentially uh, neutering Blake's competition to the point that it was more it was it was beneficial for them to abandon their own project, have the same streamers on there, have the same thing going on with what sounds like very little Blake influence and or uh, participation for that to be beneficial. Like there's some, there's some shit going on there. Not to mention how much extra promotion was likely involved uh, in order to make that worthwhile. So if, if those Blake accounts were getting mega boosted and automatically pump, pumped to the top, that kind of thing, then I, I mean, it's gotta be something like that, right? All right, uh, that's enough for now. Uh, here's the call. Let me know in the comments what you guys think and if there's anything uh, that maybe maybe is hidden there, maybe something that I didn't touch on. Uh, if there's anything that you guys notice, do let me know.
G'day. How's it going? Hello? Hey. Can you hear me? Yeah. All right. I, you got, I you got headphones. That's a, that's, that's a step up from the uh, the Lou Skillet chat already. I don't have to listen to myself. What's up? Oh, I'm just saying that uh, we're already we're already ahead of the Luskella conversation. He, uh, oh, okay. He had uh, some uh, some reverb where I could hear myself, okay. but you got headphones, you're good. Okay, so we're good. You can hear me. Yes, absolutely. Okay, cool. I would so like to up? hear absolutely anything and everything that you want to say. Um, I guess start to finish. If you want to tell me about how you got started with Blake, I don't know a whole yeah. lot about that uh, that origin and or. Uh, breakup yeah so uh so i was reached out to because uh um i don't know how much of it i could say but he did have another team on the blake's rip channel before mm -hmm. and basically he was cutting ties with them uh okay. i'm i'm sure you probably know who it was or who like uh, honestly i don't there's know a, there's exactly a lot of teams what the team but, was, but yeah. yeah so so I was reached out to uh, um, to run a team here in SoCal. Okay. So I basically, because because before I, I would stream too, like probably just Friday, Saturday, Sundays, um, on whatnot. Okay. And uh, like a part time. I did thing. Japanese. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So I did Japanese for like two, uh, almost two years already, and I did like wholesale and uh, I sold everything for basically like the cheapest possible, like. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, so I would profit maybe like $2 to $7 a box streaming or okay. whatnot. Yeah. And then I did a lot of wholesale and then, uh, my name's out there, you know, known as mm -hmm. like, I, 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 I mean, I'm not going to say I'm like famous or whatever, but like people do know us, know us as ja running Japanese products for, uh, pretty low and whatnot. Like we actually got a lot of hate too in the beginning cause, uh, okay. we ran everything too low. So people started like saying oh they're messing up the market whatever but we didn't care you know we're trying to help everyone get yeah. product for cheap i don't so, know if that's necessarily your fault if you're just letting actual yeah you know people bid yeah, on it so, or if you're selling packs for a certain yeah. amount then yeah well so be it. that's what that's what we did in the beginning we ran everything at a dollar so we okay. like some boxes yeah. we would lose like ten dollars there's a lot of people like, that run it at a dollar but yeah. they're probably not actually running yeah. it at a dollar yeah if well if there's bids on the back end or something like that then of course yeah the well i mean be a that's higher but I mean, you 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 guys can think whatever you want, like mm -hmm. like I'm not I'm not I'm not saying like really. you guys. I'm just saying like when stuff is going like way higher, like way higher than it should, and it doesn't have some sort of like oh, mine, mount, mine bounty or something that like high. that. Yeah, yeah. Mine, there's mine there's just there's not that much money in just selling booster packs at the moment. Like it's not oh, 2021. Yeah. You can everyone can go yeah. buy this stuff themselves for the most part. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, so well. So we did we we did ma mainly Japanese like box boxes. Mm -hmm. So sometimes we would do packs because uh, a lot of people couldn't put up like the like when we first started we were selling booster box for seventy eighty bucks which mm -hmm. was like a year and change ago so it was cheaper but that's still like a lot of money some people didn't have so yeah then we started doing packs we'll you know run packs but anyways they so they reached out to me and to run a a team so I get uh trust trustworthy people which are all my friends two streamers two assistants um i don't really want to like say their name i'm sure you know who they are or everyone else does but i don't want to just like you know say their name because they did get attacked okay like just because of this whole this whole thing started they started people started coming in and uh start calling them like dumb bitches stuff like that when they like <laughs> my my team had literally nothing like to do with uh, any type of scamming. We basically mm -hmm. we did bounties, so because that's what they wanted us to do yeah. on the channel. Okay, so, so Blake full... Blake told you to do bounties. Yeah, so I had. Uh, Is that why you started doing bounties in general? Like you didn't do bounties before that, I, or you did some on your own? I did. I did some on my own. Okay. And I would do like. Uh, um, I had a lot of different bounties. So it was. So I used to just like do random stuff for people like I, I even did call your radiant so if they called their the right radiant one out of three mm -hmm. like for like on uh battle region incandescent they had like three different radiants and they yeah. would get a box like that's the type of bounties i did and i would always lose on them but 
I just yeah. Well, that's like, that's what we're seeing with this. Like, yeah. guess the energy or like match the energy is should be a one and eight, and it's not a one and eight yeah. in all of these streams. Yeah. Like, it's just time and time again well, we, that they'll go through every energy, and it's like, okay, like how many times can you hit this like two percent or point two percent chance of this thing happening? Like, it's at the end of every yeah. stream. On um, so so guess the energy and like match the energy, whatever they were hmm. doing, like I. I know they were doing those games, but I wasn't sitting there watching it. Yeah. And like, like our part, we did uh, bounties. Like, um, the the clip that you put up in your video, we did uh, we did different ones. It was either hit any gold, and mm -hmm. you get everything on a wall. Which on when we ran it, it was a hundred percent legit. Like literally, okay. we would uh, open twenty to thirty boxes in okay. the beginning and, and put them in and like then, a bin or something. Yeah. Yeah. So. Our very first stream, I don't know if you can go back to it. Uh, I'm not sure if it lets you go back that far, but we actually opened the boxes in like in front of in front like, of everyone. The phone. So okay. but then the only issue was like their thing was we had to show the bounty. You know, mm -hmm. so people are like amazed when they come in like, Oh oh my god, let's you know, try okay. to do that. So the packs would like Trying to so like 20, with that, like I've 30. I've confirmed that like yeah. the DMs like did he tell you to to manipulate the bins in any way or to no. like leave product and then add more to the or not add more to it? So so we would add. Did more you see boxes, that but that's, DM? That's wait what what? It was like in the, were you were you in the Slack? Oh oh, I, honestly I didn't know what Slack was until I started okay. watching your videos and I'm, I'm like yeah uh, I'm wondering like where they're talking because it's not in the Blake's Discord. Because mm -hmm. we, we had a, a Blake's team chat Discord. Okay. And nothing was in there. Like ever. You guys were using Discord and when when you guys were there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. When when we Because when I think they were team, they were using Zoom or something at one point, I think. Uh we had a we had I think our first two meetings on Zoom. Okay. But and that was that, that was, was just Discord. saying like Yeah, uh, that was just saying like uh, cuz uh, when we started we didn't really know what to do, so they'll tell us like we could do any gold bounty, that was one okay. of them. The hit draft bounty, which we also did. Mm -hmm. And there was another one, uh, a, a wheel randomizer or something like that. It was like, I forget how much, like what they put yeah. the prices at, but um, basically you bid in and then they spin a wheel and then you get like whatever packs they put plus a grade, which mm -hmm. that, was, that was too much or an RN to keep up with because we didn't want to like lose track of... Um, of like you know grades and like packs and it would have been too confusing for like yeah. the streamer and assistant so we we kept it easy we did the any gold bounty you take everything on the wall or the hit draft it would be i think any gold or sar and uh sr trainer so three mm -hmm. different things and then you get a spot to uh on a duck race so we ran okay. duck race like 10 spot or 15 spot duck races and then okay. uh, at the end of the stream, then we run it, and then whoever like gets a spot, that's they they pick an order. So we have like EV heroes, like V Star Universe, Clay Burst, like all the different uh, Japanese sets. But never once has Blake or anyone on his team told us to run anything a certain way. Like he okay. never said anything about like energy. Other than other than just like, did he like, say that you had to make a certain amount of money per stream no, or anything like that? No, that well that's you were splitting enough. it with him, right? You you had mentioned that yeah yeah so so it was it was split uh so all the all the funds that came in would go to him and mm -hmm. then once he's done with it we have like a whole spreadsheet and they get paid out for the boxes and then uh like you know the profit okay. were you split. buying the boxes or um, he's sending sending you the boxes no he wasn't sending us he wasn't sending us okay. anything <laughs> like we we uh we basically but ordered everything we supply we sourced everything and. We we got an office here in in mm -hmm. SoCal, so okay. it was basically me and like a bunch of like my friends. Okay. We was it the was the office your decision, or did Blake tell you to get the office? Uh, or tell actually, you to get like warehouse space or anything like that? No, no, he he. Okay. that was on our end. We that was your, your choice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just so just so like they have somewhere to come into, and we have we literally have a stock room. All the, we have like maybe 500 boxes of like different sets like scarlet snow hazard clay burst like like basically all like their most recent japanese products and then we had right. some eevee heroes because of like the the hit draft we wanted to do the top like the top spot 
as mm-hmm. a bigger box, like the EV heralds. Okay. Yeah. I, just, I gotta add, I gotta interrupt here for a second. Do you, do you have yeah, like yeah, a, go, a, go a dog a dog or something? Uh, he's actually under my desk. Uh, he's snoring, asleep. He's asleep. He's sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> I can hear him a little yeah, bit, but I, it's all, I just wanted to make sure that's, that's what right. it was. <laughs> uh, that's actually part of my stream. They actually like a the, lot of my the viewers... snooze. Yeah. <laughs> the snoozing down. Is it like? Is he a pug yeah. or something? No, uh, English bulldog. Okay. So he's, yeah, he's, they, got, the, they, he's they, got the snoring yeah, snout. Yeah, he's like knocked out <laughs> right now. Yeah. Okay. So, so uh, in terms yeah, of like, uh, what else did you have? You kind of see like where I see a little bit of an issue with like the stream. Like, yeah, you want to show off the bounty, but also at the same time, yeah. like to have packs in any way, like whether it's any of the other people that we've seen, um, Snee especially uh, when she's swapping stuff out, um, to be able to see everything uh, and mix everything in front of the customer, uh, yeah. even though you, you only have so much space, but to kind of make space for that, I think would make a, a well, big difference in like, customer confidence yeah, or something well, like that just because if they're coming from off screen there's a, there's a lot oh, of sure. there's a lot of yeah, lot yeah. of shenanigans that can go on and i'm not saying that yeah. someone shouldn't trust any individual person but it just yeah. kind of it allows that kind of bad stuff to go on whether it's yeah, match for sure. whether it's guess the energy sure. and you're swapping it or match the energy or anything like that if people can't see that you're grabbing from the bin or if they don't see the bin filled to begin with if it's leftover bin from like a previous stream then um, the, and they, there was messages in the Slack that I've confirmed were like real sc- screenshots where they're talking about how, uh, if there's stuff left over or not left over, which would be kind of extra bad on, on terms of the Japanese stuff where you get one hit per box, you know, how many boxes you put in there, you know, how many hits you got out of it. Maybe, you know, like how many gold cards there are per case. Maybe there's two per case or something that you can, uh, as, as of... far as case, as far as case hit, cause I've been like, uh, I've been ripping a lot of cases and also mm-hmm. uh, loose boxes. So cases are, are a lot more expensive from Japan. So a lot of people do get loose boxes, but mm-hmm. we do get cases too. And as far as case hit, there's there's no guarantee because I've opened cases with zero golds and I open cases with four golds. Okay. Like it's to me, it's completely random. So I don't think there is a set thing, but I did rip a lot of a lot of like different cases. So it's like uh after after this whole thing went down and we couldn't stream on his channel anymore, I actually ran a bounty game on mine, and we actually hit three golds in one case, which mm-hmm. I win negative I win negative two thousand that right. that stream, but I was trying to like pick my personal channel back up because I didn't stream on it for like two months after taking on this mm-hmm. project. So yeah, I've seen that there's uh, there's yeah. some people that are no longer doing guess the energy anymore from uh, from what I'm seeing. So, uh, which is, uh, or match the, the energy. energy, yeah. Get uh, guess the energy is a little bit, a little bit, yeah. More about match the energy because you know, where things are mappable. I mean, from what I'm seeing, all the clips, like a lot of them got really lazy, and then the whole team of six, like the current Blake people, including Blake himself, were just pulling yeah. from the Darkness of Blaze sleeve boosters. Mm-hmm. And they come out in a certain order, so no, they're not gonna, they're never gonna match unless they decide to switch up that order. So they can just keep pulling from the case, and usually they do until you know. You can even see within the clips. It's a shame we don't get to see the chat within those clips, but you can hear yeah. them say like, "No, it's not mappable, guys. It's not mappable." And and uh, apparently people are getting banned because they're calling what the next energy is gonna be, or they'll switch it up, and all of a sudden Blake takes you know two and a half minutes to grab a pack from somewhere else in order to put that into to show people that like hey no it's not going to be the same order every time but that was like the the mashup and i'm sure you've seen that uh the like six of them, all six I, of them pulling the same energies in a row from the same blister packs like so yeah so i i mean i seen the videos mm-hmm. uh we never we didn't do english on our part yeah he, he wanted to, to focus on japanese so like mm-hmm. but as far as like mapping i like i knew from like two years ago when i first got on whatnot that like booster boxes could be mapped. I didn't. I don't know about like sleeve cases because I never heard anything. Mm-hmm. So I'm not sure. Like, like on their end, I'm not sure where. They're yeah. Getting I mean, like, there's there's this. no way that's like a, a coincidence, right? Like all you got all six of them running the same sleeved darkness ablaze boosters. Yeah, I mean, if I mean, and then, you, so saw, you saw all their videos, so yeah. everyone was investigating. But I'm like. 
but I'm just like, like and then it, it comes down to like, with. so do you think PMW is doing it? The thing with PMW is like, mm-hmm. I don't know what to think. Cause I mean, there's a, PMW there's a clip like, of him like denying the fact that they're not mappable. Like there's people in his dream telling him that they're mappable. I mean, I, I know for sure. Like, and he, booster boxes were, but I don't know like mm-hmm. if like sleeve cases because yeah. I'm I'm pretty sure they ran sleeve cases too because like th- then again the, like, for the I most part they ran the sleeve cases the yeah, the only the only ones okay. that I've kind of seen th- they didn't stray from that because it was easy right and yeah well, like why why uh, would you you could just yeah, buy a I'm, case of it and I'm not you switch it out sh- I'm not too sure okay about, and then like that. and then anytime they did switch it up so if, if snee decided to switch it up with like some vivid voltage packs which maybe they weren't yeah. mappable all of a sudden all the bottoms of the packs are open uh and she doesn't want to show the bottom of the pack on screen uh mm-hmm. or, and then you have the stuff going off screen and sometimes it's, it's, it's like as egregious as the pack is still laying there on the table because she didn't scoot it yeah. off and then she does afterwards or the pack comes back and it's a different artwork like yeah. Your Celebi yeah, turns I mean, into that's, that's us, Pikachu sure. or something like that. So, like, yeah. that was just, like, I, again, like, another level of lazy or just, like, she, maybe she ran out of, like, Darkness Ablaze sleeve boosters or something like that. But I, so yeah. I, I, I'm just wondering, like, so how, how do you think that PMW didn't do the same thing that the rest of them are doing if they were all doing well, like, the exact not, same thing? I mean, I, I'm not sure what he did or didn't do. Like, I, mm-hmm. I'm not here to defend anyone's honor or say he did or didn't but yeah like i've since i downloaded the app like what two years ago and i i always bought in his streams before too and he yeah. always bought in mine so he was a big supporter of ours and i was also a big supporter of his and he would give us a lot like extra gifts that's why like but like I, i'm not sure how long he streamed on on blake's either but i know he was a part of it and yeah I never had any issues with them, so it's just like. Yeah, I get not like having like personal like I and I don't like I don't think in any way that I don't think any. Well, I say I'm going to say that I don't know, and it wouldn't yeah. surprise me if none of these people, um, did something prior to moving over to the Blake platform. Is kind of the trend that yeah, I'm seeing. Like I'm, I don't like I'm not uh, da- I'm not I don't, I'm not gonna go watch the rest of like the Lou Skilla original story before he went to Blake's and and go through and comb through every single thing. Uh, if yeah. all of a sudden he goes there and he's doing the same thing that they were all doing, mm-hmm. which is an exploit, which is yeah. basically it's a rigged gamble or rigged bounty. Then like I gotta I gotta think that it's coming from like the top down. Uh, and if they're going to negotiate or they're going to not necessarily negotiate, but if they're going to coach and like give tips to each other about how they should like manipulate the bin, are they not going to do the same thing with like the sleeve boosters? And maybe that just mm-hmm. didn't get leaked at this point, or maybe that was on a call instead of in a Slack DM or something like that. Like there's no way they just all of a sudden all, all do it and they all do it the same product and it all comes out in the same order and they're all told, Hey guys, th- these are mappable no one none of them mm-hmm. ever listen or talk to each other and say hey we we got to stop doing this they just uh, i'm not i'm not sure if like if they had their own like uh mm-hmm. group chat on the main channel yeah. but as far as us like we were never told uh to run anything a certain way so we would have meetings every week too yeah and basically the meetings would be oh you're doing a great job um keep up with it uh just like like I mean, there was to... with your agreement with him. There was no way that they were losing yeah. money, though, right? Because they would just take half profit. For sure, yeah, for sure. So, it, so if, they didn't if really the whole profit care. unless after... there was something that was like better, a better competitive or some a better like outcome for them. If it was no work and they just let you use the channel. Uh, I'm honestly, I I don't know, cause like we we ran the rip channel and they didn't have to do anything on that. So at the end of the day, we just. Mm-hmm. We put the time in, all the product, ran the streams, and then they took their part. So yeah. even if even after like paying out streamers and assistant, if the total profit was like mm-hmm. four hundred or whatever, then they would take part of that. So even if we only pulled in a hundred, they would take part of that. But there were days that we went negative two hundred. 
Mm-hmm. And there were no complaints, so there weren't like any okay. quota or, or did they, you know, that's did not... they pay half the two hundred that you lost, or was that on you to lose the two hundred? That's a good question. That's a good question. <laughs> Honestly, I, was, oh, I just well, figured no, if they were gonna, if they were gonna, get... if they're going to take half the profit, surely they would take half the loss. Actually, right? actually, it was it was a weekly thing. So at the end of the week, we okay. would so it, wasn't, like, it would be in the profits on the week. anyway. Okay, but it wasn't like crazy like. Mm-hmm. It wasn't like five to twenty k profit. It was, yeah. it was a lot less because we did just we were only there for three weeks, mm-hmm. like three maybe three weeks and some change. So and was it was it like that big of a difference? Were there that many more eyes on that channel than your own? Yeah, for sure. Because uh, his channels were always at the top, so there would be a lot of people coming in, mm-hmm. and we we had a lot of like, were they new like people were they promoted to the top like through whatnot? Uh, I'm, or I'm was it sure, was it just does it just based on numbers? Like, does it I'm get not, an extra boost because of like the partnership with Blake? I'm not sure, like uh, how like the placement goes, mm-hmm. but when when I just when I went back on my channel again, I think I was like 120th on the Pokemon list. Okay. But I've been streaming every day, so like, uh, honestly, I don't even know what day it is anymore or when we stopped exactly, but. Over time now, like, it went up from 120th, and then it went to, like, maybe 65th, and then now it's in the 30s. So maybe, because his stream was 12 hours a day, like, every every day. Mm-hmm. So maybe that has something to do with, like, the placement, but I'm not, like, 100% sure. Because cause we did reach out to WhatNot as well, like, uh, to see if there was any way to get up to the top. And they said no. I don't know if it's true or not, but that's... That's what, like, okay. I know. But for his channel, it's... There isn't, like, a featured like, kind of thing where they can, like, boost something if they really... If it's, like, an um, event or... I, I don't think it's through... Oh, actually, you know what? For, like, talking about event, mm-hmm. I think for big box breaks, they might put you at the top because that's what I notice. Like, to do, like, a jungle break or okay. a team rocket break, and it would be, like, at the top. Even if it only has, like, 20, mm-hmm. 30 viewers, it would be up there. But you know, other, other than that, I'm not... Like Do you have any idea sure. who would be in charge of something like that? Uh, like if they're like a placement type thing. Yeah. Uh, if they're like I'm special not... events within within that stuff. Oh, I think you just I think you just email support. Honestly. Okay. Yeah, and then okay. I didn't know if it was like one of the managers right. or something, whether it be like Craig or something. Uh, would Craig? I'm not. I'm not too sure. Uh, like, but um, I don't think he would. I don't think he'd like to be bothered with <laughs> with That's that stuff like either. That. But I, I'm pretty sure it's like, I'm pretty sure you hit up support mm-hmm. to like try to get better placement. Okay. Yeah, but I, I, I don't know. I mean, it's, I mean, at big companies, if you know someone, you know someone. I guess. It's like. Yeah. Did um but, did you see anything like in terms of like when you were in the, on the account? Was there any infractions or like anything like that? Uh, no, so they. I think they had like a three day ship time, and then when we okay. got on, we we brought it down to less than one day, because we we would ship. We literally like we were there to like uh, two three in the morning, mm-hmm. packing orders. I think every day we had each stream. We had two streams on maybe six hours a stream. Each stream would have like, I would say anywhere from sixty to a hundred packages. So we would literally sit there after stream, pack every single order, and up to like two three a.m send it out in the morning like like yeah it's, uh, six it's a days lot. a week six days a week yeah it was like i, I was there 9 30 a.m to 3 a.m every day mm-hmm. except monday monday we we're off but it was like it was a lot because in history yeah. there a lot of people come in and and order okay and uh a lot of bounties are hit too like when we ran it for sure yeah yeah. Now, did your partnership with Blake did it have anything to do with that account not having to pay fees? Does that like does that kind of justify it? There, there. Uh, he does have fees on that account. There's not like a no fees. Is it so, just a credit card thing? I thought it was. Uh, I thought he had zero percent fees and he only had to pay for like. I heard that he didn't have to pay for any transactions, whether credit card or not. But maybe that's only no. The there main, was there the was main the, account. yeah there was a credit card uh credit card fees. Uh, okay. I'm not. Sure, if like so, it's just credit card fees only, so yeah, ten percent less than anything else. It was, 
I forget what the credit card. I think I think it's just a standard credit card fee, like uh, three or four percent, something like that. Okay. But it all automatically takes it out, and then also we do giveaways. Mm-hmm. And the shipping charges, I'm not sure if that was factored into like the total. Uh, total okay. Earnings. Yeah, I would assume that like yeah. you'd have to pay for any of the the shipping stuff, just the the, the actual whatnot fees. I was under the yeah. impression that all three accounts had zero. No, no, it's not. It was that's what we thought too. We thought it was like zero, but then they said that there was uh, just like the three or four percent transactions. Yeah. yeah. So like, yeah, yeah. So it would just take the, out just the no ten percent whatnot tax. Yeah, I think it's whatnot is eleven percent. Okay. Yeah. I think I don't know. Someone told me it was like new streamers are charged fifteen percent. I'm not sure if that's true or not. I my, heard my something recently where it, I don't know if this is true at all, but like if if you have yeah. like an infraction or something like that, they'll charge you a higher percentage on your fees i i don't know about that but like if you're like ship like, late or like something doesn't get scanned in that you'll get instead of them like ding you and like temp banning you or suspending you they'll just like charge you more fees no it would be uh uh instapay i think they would take that okay yeah. that away I, I i haven't heard anyone like raising their fees unless maybe certain people had lower fees like a partnership or something i i don't know mm-hmm. like you know, maybe they raised it, but other than that, like us smaller yeah. streamers, if we get any type of trust and safety issue or okay, like doxing did you get, someone, did you get to see all whatever. the all the like trust and safety issues for that Blake account that you were streaming on? No, I I didn't I, I didn't because it sends you it sends you like a notification through the app, but then it also sends emails, right? I don't. I never got a notification on the app. The only okay. time I would get notifications is. It's because you're too, too good at shipping. Us? Yeah. Yeah, like asking, oh, uh, when's my order getting here? And then I would, I would like take the time and look into it and mm. check where their order is. So we, when we took over, we had no issues with like any type of shipping. Okay, cool. Yeah. Or like even like anyone missing, uh, missing some part of their order or anything like that. Or like, um, what was I gonna say? Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't. I didn't have any issues with any of that. So, yeah, I'm trying to think if I did. But I don't think I did. Yeah. It, uh, other other messages would be like, oh, hey, I spent this much in the stream. Can I get hooked up, or whatever? <laughs> and it was. Can cool. I have some free stuff, please? Yeah. So like like they would spend like thirty bucks and like say, oh, I mm-hmm. spent this much, and oh, can I get extra stuff? And I mean. Like we tried our best, but like, other than that, like there, there, there are some big uh, spenders in our in the stream too who went in pretty big to try to hit the bounty, and the the ones that didn't hit, we would still send the booster boxes. Mm-hmm. So they'll spend like eleven hundred, eight hundred, whatever. We'll still send them like a clay burst or one fifty one to try to offset it. But at the end of the day, we couldn't give them like the full value back because that's just like. That's just part of it, like mm-hmm. part of the business and yeah. and all that. So we still had to be profitable, especially trying to pay for the office and like payroll and stuff like yeah. that too. Do you think whatnot would be better off without bounties? That's a good question. I mean, I, I know a lot of a lot of streamers rely on bounties to like make their income. Mm-hmm. For me personally, I don't need to run any bounties because I don't, I don't care really about bounties like but there are people that come in that do ask for it because they want to i guess have some fun like yeah. trying to you know hit something or gamble whatever trying, trying to gamble just, well, i mean that's kind of what it's yeah. devolved into like, when, when you have yeah, that's, people that's when you have people, people paying like a thousand dollars for a five dollar booster pack or a three dollar booster pack like if, if then, someone did that on my stream they're not just walking away with <laughs> yeah with that one booster pack like i like uh, I would feel bad if, like, I ran a booster pack for mm-hmm. someone to hit a thousand dollar bounty and they spend like five hundred bucks. That's just well, that's not it right. too. Like, this is like when you're advertising better odds because you have all these energies lined yeah. out in front of you that they're not going to hit anyway because you already have them mapped out. Yeah, that's I. I have nothing to do with whatever like type of thing those, that they ran. Those but shenanigans. To me personally, I I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. Okay. Yeah. I, yeah. Well, I just think that like. 
that's the thing too. It's just like I offered to talk to all of them. They didn't want to talk to me. Of course, they don't want to talk to I, me. I have nothing to hide. So but I, I, like, I uh, no, to I you yeah, we got no, I appreciate that. Stuff, you know, we, we well, other than other than other than Lou, oh my god. But this is yeah. the thing. I just think that like it's it's all like it, I'm sure it wasn't as out of control and in the beginning, and it just kind of snowballed into like this huge thing where now it's just it's essentially just a gambling loophole. Yeah, which I I. I'd be surprised if it doesn't just end up getting shut down in some way because that's just it. It's just like, it's just disguised gambling when, Basically. when, when, when the extra gamble premium on top of the pack itself is far exceeds 10 X is yeah, it's, yeah, 20 X is like what the price of the item is. It's just like, as long as there's an item there, it's counts. Like it's, it seems kind of, kind of sketchy. Um, so, I uh, I had somebody mention Tanner's gym to me. I don't know if you want to tell me about that. Uh, so I don't know if like, if you know. have a, you have a tendency to, to partner up or work with people that are a little um, s- sketchy. It's just a coincidence. Like, okay. So I mean, no, there's that. a lot of people and that's what you, you mentioned earlier. Like, oh, when people are nice or like people give you stuff. Just because people are nice and give you stuff, every single scammer I've ever talked to always just like yeah. leads. They're like, "Oh, rattle, let me suck your dick or whatever." Like it's there's okay. always like it, there's, it always leads with a comp. Oh, I love your content. It's so good. I watch it every day. And you yeah. ask them anything about it, they have no idea. They're just trying to suck up so that you go easy on them or something. But uh, yeah, if you want to elaborate on that at all, I just heard basically um, uh, that they're a scammer and that they got banned uh, because they just weren't shipping anything. But if there's anything uh, that you want to add on that, so. So in the beginning, he well, just like you said, like scammers and whatever, give people a lot of stuff. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, he actually started out like really good. Like, um, I think my first day, I actually went into his stream by accident. Uh, hold on, let me let me flip my hat around. Real quick. So, oh no! All right, anyway, so. <laughs> So uh, I actually got this hat made because we because of Tanner Jim situation. Okay. So um, his streams, I actually went to his stream by accident, and fuck, I was a one not degenerate back then. My first day on whatnot, I spent ten grand on mystery bags. Not in his stream, but literally, mm-hmm. like I downloaded the app, and within two hours, I spent ten grand, which was. It was fun though. I mean, I'm not gonna. I don't like regret it. But I went into his streams and uh, I started dropping a lot of money too. And he would give me extra stuff too, like Dragon Majesty ETBs, like you know, a lot of stuff. And then we weren't that far from each other, so um, he started getting big. And I offered my help to him. And I said, "Hey, uh, if you if you need help, I got you. I can help you pack orders." Uh, like whatever you need and i don't want any money for it i just wanted to help and i got down there then i started showing up on his stream and then you know everything was going good uh before whatnot really blew up like what a year ago it was a little more than a year ago and he um he started getting really big so he'll get a lot of english product early run it and dude he was getting like almost 200 dollars of booster rocks like just for no reason like like not even ripping no bounty nothing he'll put it on the uh put it in front of the phone run it and it will go for like 200 bucks for uh english booster box which was like <laughs> which was crazy because everyone loved watching him because he would get drunk on tree that was the big thing okay yeah. it was it was i guess it was entertaining whatever and then so eventually like I was there too, like just on the side. I didn't take any money from him at all. I just went there just to help out. And I didn't even want any connections to English product. Like he would ask me like, oh, how come you never asked me for stuff? And I told him I'm not a freeloader. And I like, I just, I tried to help him like do his business good. Like watch out for certain people. They're literally just messaging you to try to get a hookup on English product, and a lot of them did. Hmm. And I never wanted anything. I just wanted to help. But, anyways, uh, was that so like after a while during that? during the boom? Was that like twenty twenty one? 
Uh, is that? I think. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And somewhere it, in around. It started getting bigger and so bigger. So people wanted like the the hookup on the English product extra because it was hard yeah, to come by it, on it release day. And... I think uh, I think around Brilliant Stars is when okay. I started streaming right with him. On. Like right right before that, so he okay. would get like Evolving Skies as well for like six hundred bucks a booster box case, which was like pretty decent, I guess, back then. Mm-hmm. And people wanted that hookup, so. Um, Eventually, it got to the point where, while I was there, everything was good. And then he took a little break from streaming, and then he started streaming from his girlfriend's house at the time. And that's when it went to shit. So, so he, people stop. So he started. He, he, shipping, he uh, couldn't get drunk anymore because she was probably sleeping. And <laughs> I'm just oh, imagining. He, he still, he still got. Oh, drunk. I still get drunk. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, so as far as like buyers in his streams, people stop getting their stuff. So, so okay. what he would do is he would run a booster box of evolving skies, put it on, mm-hmm. put it on the thing and then run it, whatever it went for a hundred. And I don't know. I don't know the exact amount, 140, 180, something like that. I don't know, but he would run it and then he'll put it to the side and then he'll run something else like an astral radiance ETP, put it to the side. Then he'll grab another Evolving Skies and run it again. So he would run the same two Evolving Skies booster boxes like 40 times. L- literally, because I said... So you could I just go look at, this, look at the Pokeballs yeah. on the ramp or something, and yeah, it's just the same exactly. ones over I and over. Matched, I matched the, po- the Pokeballs to the words on the Evolving Skies. And then I was like, dude, this is the same fucking shit. Like, and I was thinking, like, okay, maybe he's just running it and then grabbing... You know, yeah, maybe he has some in the like back later. and he doesn't yeah. feel like... Yeah, so back and forth. I gave him benefit of the doubt, whatever. And then until people started, like, hitting me up. They would hit me up, like, hey, I ordered this. Where is it? Mm-hmm. Just because I was with him, like, the month before. Yeah. And then I, I would start to get a lot of hate. And then I will hit him up, like, hey, uh, what's going on with this guy's order? Are you going to ship it out? And then he'll be like, oh, yeah, I shipped it out already. Or, oh, yeah, I'm going to take care of it. And then they got to the point where... Every day, people were messaging us, mm-hmm. like we're all. Oh, where's so? Did he have like oh, early I payout and? Yeah, he he had early payout, so okay. I'm pretty sure he scammed whatnot, and they fucking let him back on, which is the fucked up part what? for like maybe maybe an hour or so. But an, what, so, an hour? They let him on for an hour, yeah. and then did like people just explode and? Yeah. They so uh, cut it off. So it wasn't. It wasn't just that. So he, he would do side deals off of whatnot, too. So he would sell... Yeah. Uh, someone I know, he sold two booster box cases of Evolving Skies. Was there a number and, on how much he screwed over whatnot for? Uh, I, I don't know the exact number, but... So one of my one of my good friends, uh, you brought him up, Philly Lurk, in mm-hmm. your video, too. Uh, he's actually my partner. He's, okay. he's yeah. my best friend. I, I basically grew up with him. So everything that we do as far as TCG, we split it. Okay. Basically, fifty-fifty. He's he's on the East Coast. So I'm here on the West Coast. But um, over time, bidding in his stream, uh, he would buy uh, he would buy slabs in his stream because he actually had access to like big slabs, like like uh, BGS ten hidden fates Charizards, like you know stuff like that. So over time, uh, he offered to Philly Lurk like, if you want to trade these slabs in, we could upgrade you to a better slab. You know, like I'll take care of you, whatever. And it, it got to the point where it was seven grand. So he would say, so he owed him a seven thousand dollar slab, which Philly Lurk won it because he's like a a big slab collector. Um, he wanted a gold star Charizard. So that's what the deal was to take the seven grand, put it towards that gold star Charizard. And months and months and months would go by, like from February to like June, nothing. Like. Mm-hmm. He would never bring it up like, oh, hey, I'm going to get you that this week or next week, whatever. Like, I'm still working on it, whatever. N- none of that. So um, it got to the point where he he owed him 7 k And he also, a uh, bunch of other people, like, they would send him, like, they would buy stuff like $1,000, $2,000. Uh, I gave him a Brilliant Stars booster box case, which was worth like twelve hundred dollars at the time for some reason, and he didn't give it back to me. 
He said, because I gave it to him, like, oh, you're getting some from the distributor this weekend. So you could just take mine and then just give me a new case. And then mm -hmm. I never got that shit back and I got fed up with it. So I told him, like, you could fucking keep it. Like, that's like, it, it's fucked up that I had to chase you for my own shit. Mm -hmm. And, but. And you're trying uh, to do so, somebody a favor. Yeah. So that was that. And then he also owed someone 12 grand. So someone, <laughs> so he posted up, like, uh, hey, I'm looking for investors. And this guy was like, oh, okay, that's that's pretty cool. Uh, so let him borrow some money, uh, bought Pokemon products, streamed, flipped it, whatever. He got a payout out of it. The next run was for 12 grand. And he never got anything back out of it. So um, I think I let him borrow 600 bucks. And then randomly one weekend he came to me, like without streaming for like a month or so. And was like, oh, here's, like, he put a big wad of cash out. Like, oh, here's some money. And then later on, I found out that's from the 12 grand the other dude let him borrow. Yeah, so, so he didn't, borrowing he money didn't to take pay it for a product. Yeah, he, yeah, he, he was probably, like, he probably took that money to maybe pay other people back that he didn't ship stuff out for. I, I don't know exactly, but he scammed for that much. And then he also scammed the uh, people for, someone else bought in his streams, they spent, like, 3600 over a week in his stream never got anything so what not refunded that um other people bought from his website like up to like seven or eight grand none of those got shipped so like exact dollar amount i don't know but it's probably close to 100k or maybe more was and he was he spending it like on crazy stuff or anything probably probably gambling um gambling yeah Probably gambling, honestly. Okay. Like he did didn't, you, he didn't did, have a car did, was or he, either. Was he known to gamble? Was he playing like slot machines or something online? I I don't or, like I never seen casino him play, or like, anything play. like that. Uh, I know he went to Vegas uh, <laughs> around that time for, for a weekend, and yeah. that's probably when it went to shit. That's probably yeah, honestly like, yeah. I don't, he wanted me to go with him that weekend, but like I'm like. What was I? I was 33 at the time, and this dude was like 23. So we have like a pretty big age gap. So mm -hmm. I'm not into like, I'm not into like partying and clubbing and like, like you know yeah. stuff like that. But like, makes sense. If I lose twenty dollars on roulette, I, I would, uh, I'd be butthurt mm -hmm. <laughs> about it. Like, so I didn't go with him, but luckily I didn't because he would have probably asked me to borrow money, honestly. But yeah. 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 So back on, back onto the Blake stuff, I guess. Was it was there any point that it was difficult to to get money or get payments or get anything like that? No, no, was that everything was smooth. Okay. No, uh, on yeah, on on their end, everything was smooth. Like we never had an issue with like the sh uh, the stream or you know him paying anything mm -hmm. out. Like everything everything was smooth on on when okay. when we were there. Like, I've heard of, like, a lot like, of complaints like, of, like, people not getting paid on time or, like, him adding, like, random crap to, like, an invoice or, or whatever that they probably no. shouldn't have to pay. No. But yeah, again, not, they, not, they probably not had a different end. agreement yeah. than, than you guys do, so. Probably, I, I don't know, like, like, I haven't heard of any of, like, old employees or whatever, like, mm -hmm. with money situations with them, but as far as on our end, everything was smooth, like, we we didn't have any quotas like they basically just like gave us a channel and like and you know like suggested three different type of uh streams to run and then we okay. basically just ran bounties and yeah, that was yeah. it yeah there wasn't yeah he never like if we was it like, mostly with blake low. like were, were most of the meetings or most of the discussions or negotiations with blake himself or was it it was like our our team meeting we had every Monday. Okay. It was everyone. Okay, everyone from so ev all everyone the like our main channel, yeah, our and, channel and their yeah and their channel. But like, there wasn't somebody like, that was mostly like giving you guys directions. In terms no, of like, no. Were no you... the the only the only issue is uh, that we got like heat for like was mm -hmm. um, thumbnails. That was it. Okay. So they would ask us like, "Oh, send us your pictures so we can make the thumbnails," and then, uh, and then we did. But then the like 
the pictures weren't good enough. So we're like, dude, what the fuck? Like, you gotta but go that take was, a like, new only... passport picture yeah. or something like that. Go <laughs> yeah. to Walmart. So like, yeah, we didn't like. But yeah, other than that, that was that was like, the only gripe. From... They never gave you like shit about anything yeah. else about money. No, or... from no from Blake and whoever like okay. like everyone else, we never got any like. Mm-hmm. Any issues or them telling us to do certain things? I, I I know like, like we're getting accused of weighing packs, but like I'm not. Yeah, I, I'm talking. not even like necessarily like, saying that you guys were. I just think it's like yeah. where it's tied together, and it's off screen stuff. Like I, it's something that could be exploited. I don't know if that's oh, something sure. that you can for like sure. work into your stream that you actually have yeah. everything, whether it's on the background, whether you get to zoom out a little bit and the bounty's going to look a little smaller or something like that in order to mm-hmm. to fit it in there. But like to show everyone here, we're opening it here. We're mixing them. This is the bin. Yeah. It was empty beforehand. This is everything that's in there. That so, kind of thing. So I think with, I, I kind of like, that, like I kind of hate the idea in general of like opening Japanese products and dumping it in a bin just because like later on, if, if you pull everything that can possibly come out of it or you pull a bunch early, then it's kind of like it's kind of shit at that point. And you can add more boxes to it, but it's still going to be diluted with non hits, I guess. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, we we never had like an issue with like ending stream and having like too many mm-hmm. packs. Yeah. So we're literally entering with like seven packs, something like that. Mm-hmm. And like, yeah. And then if you're going like, through it, it's not a big deal either. Like if it's just going to be an empty bin each time, it's more so at that point, just, yeah. I guess so that people can see them the entire time after the box is open. Yeah. It's, it, it was just, I mean, we, we could have probably like had a different, another camera angle showing it. Yeah. Showing the, I think Snee at one but, point had a side camera, but that disappeared. Yeah. I, 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 yeah. So, I, like with with us, we when I went in there, I would go in there like nine. Our, our stream would start at ten a.m., so I would go in there before, and I would grab twenty to thirty boxes to put in the bin, and then we would just we would run through them, and then uh, usually like we were good, but if we if it was like if we we're running like fifteen packs at a time because the momentum's there, like yeah. 10, 15, 20 packs, and people are going in then we would have to open more boxes. So then we would, but we wouldn't like, um, I guess mix it in like right away. Uh, okay. We would you wait, wait till you well, wait bit? till it's yeah. empty and, and then, then mix it, mix a new batch. Yeah. Kind of thing. Yeah. And then, and then we would throw in like another, it depends. Like if it was almost the end of stream, we would do another 10 boxes or maybe 20 boxes or something like that. It just depends like when, and, and we went through packs like, like crazy because there will be some people coming in and say i'll run 30 packs and we'll run 30 packs like it's just like certain big buyers like that's that's just what they wanted like they wanted the i guess joy and excitement or or whatever you know type of feeling that they get for ripping ripping that many packs but we would we would run through each stream we would run through I would say 40 to 60 per stream and we had two streams so every day we would do like 100 to 120 boxes mm-hmm. which is like over 3000 packs was Blake so often I, in the in the streams was in, he like was he in oh, the chat like, honestly i think uh we started on july 5th and i think we ended whenever like this whole thing started okay i'm not sure exactly how but honestly he probably only came in our stream like three or four times Okay, so like it was like, just, it, just it seems like it, it was less like micromanaging, like the other streams, yeah, from what yeah, I'm hearing, sure. he would be yeah. like on the people like don't sell that many packs at a time. And like the packs had to be a certain dollar value and, and stuff like no. that. Like, there was no, like no. spreadsheets of like, hey, packs need to go for this much and, and everything else. But we we never got any like any directions uh, photos like or like, like, I, I see I see some of your videos, but like they're the directions and stuff like that. But we, we never mm-hmm. got it on our end. Okay. So I think I think, uh, well, he never, like, his team never micromanaged, like, the streamers and stuff. I, I, I probably micromanaged him way more. But I wasn't mm-hmm. really, like, you know, breathing down their back. I would just yeah. tell them, like, uh, I would just say, the most I did was say, oh, run run a three-pack and then run a ten-pack. Because at the end of the day, it's a business, and we're trying to pull in, like, as much mm-hmm. revenue as we can. So we had to do what was right because we wanted to pay the streamers out. 
also pay for the office as well. So, so we would, uh, so if, if we're doing one packs, two packs, and it was going for three dollars, we're losing money. So mm -hmm. then we would say, oh, try see how much three packs goes for, see how much seven packs goes for, five packs, stuff like that. Yeah. But that was us. That wasn't him like saying, oh, make sure you run one pack, ten packs. Like there wasn't anything. Yeah. It was just like basically we just like branded ourselves basically and then we had to you know do what was right to try to pull in as much as we could yeah do you think that there's yeah. streamers on the platform currently that are benefiting from like less competition or do you think uh honestly i think after all your videos i think <laughs> i think or there's just less people, people using whatnot like yeah. there's a lot of people oh, that are for sure. like there's probably a lot of people that are just like waiting on whether they get a refund or not right basically yeah because especially I, like if right someone i've it. heard there's people that like thirty thousand dollars like tied up and that's stuff <laughs> that's claims. insane uh, yeah uh nobody's i don't think anyone spent that much when when we mm -hmm. we uh we ran the streams yeah yeah but that's uh yeah i mean when we ran it everything was i, I mean anyone can say this i guess but when we, we ran the streams it was 100 percent legit so mm -hmm. we, we would have six to eight bounty winners a day like like some random person would come in and spend twenty dollars and yeah. go home with like twelve hundred dollars worth of booster boxes so yeah. and uh, uh another thing is like i know a lot of people are saying oh the same people win over and over again but yeah i mean the gonna, reason... there's, there's gonna be some of that because i mean you're gonna have return people and and stuff like that for sure there's, and like, there's some examples that i'm seeing market. where it's just like there definitely needs to be more uh, I don't know, monitoring of like whether or not somebody's just like show bidding stuff or whether they can yeah, use sure. like surely they can track it from start to finish and it'll throw up a flag if you're all of a sudden you're someone's always winning and yeah. or they're winning these big bounties and then like you print a shipping label for it and it's not the size of what yeah. the actual item is or or if those always get canceled or like stuff like that. I don't know. I'm oh, sure there's I've there's a ton that. on on their end that they could be doing better, but yeah, I'm not sure if anyone was doing that in our stream, but I mean there would be there would be a lot of repeat winners, but these these winners were going big. Like they would literally spend mm -hmm. like like per stream eight hundred to two thousand. So there you know, obviously be a better chance than someone just coming in and spending thirty dollars. So yeah. yeah. But we, we did get new winners like every week too. Like if you go oh, shit, but that's I think you you could go through all of our our uh, mm -hmm. videos like on his thing and I guess we say their name it's just like I guess you have to go through all that Yeah, info. they definitely yeah, like yeah they need a, a better replay system and yeah uh, for us non iOS folks and yeah. uh and also to have all the chat there and even if somebody gets banned like if if, if somebody's like making an accusation and they get banned like okay sure if you're like if they're just being a dick or trolling or whatever you can ban them but there still should be some ability to go back and see like uh, johnny 69 comes in here and he says hey the next energy is going to be grass because he knows the order of the energies and then he gets yeah. banned and you can no longer see that <laughs> anymore so unless the streamer is like you know, speaking to yeah. him you kind of it's like a one-way conversation that you kind of have to decipher that way so like that's that's a huge issue and i mean they're gonna have people that are looking out for this stuff regardless yeah um i get they're, they're gonna have more uh complaints maybe like false flags or, or anything like that uh, with yeah. people thinking that there's something there when there's not necessarily something there um but at the same time it's still keeping everything a lot safer did yeah. they uh did they did whatnot reach out to you at all about the blake stuff no no, no I, I was when i saw all of them get banned i was I was a little concerned about like my channel because I did mm -hmm. like put in a lot of work to build mine up, but at right. the end of the day, like they could go through all the footage and like if they actually sit there yeah. and watch the streams, there's there's no like set like winners like certain people winning mm -hmm. hitting certain cards or whatever. Like there would still be a lot of hits. So even if we didn't pull a gold, there would still be like Charizard S A R, like mm -hmm. Erica S A R. Like we we would still get a lot of hits. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah. like kind of like even with the energy 
shenanigans. You, you're still going to have all, like, the, even the vivid voltage packs. Like, Snee is not going to take the hits out of the packs. Like, she's going to check the mm -hmm. energies and put them, put the cards back in. Like, people won't, are going to think, you know, maybe something's not up. Maybe everything's yeah. fine. If, like, packs aren't going to be resealed, like, look, there's there's a... There's a Pikachu in there or something like I don't know yeah, if, yeah. If, if they would leave like a hyper rare Pikachu still in the pack or not. I didn't see any of those, yeah. but still getting like full arts and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Except for that really dry spell that she had where she didn't hit anything like any EXs for ever. <laughs> I, I don't. Know, I I didn't watch like like that stuff, but it, yeah, I mean that, that was, I mean if if I seen that, that's like that I would agree, be just, sus. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and that's the thing too. It's just like the the different layers with the bounties and stuff like that. It just adds more complexity or more ways for people to do sneaky things. I mean, there's mm -hmm. there's, there's ways to do sneaky things regardless. Um, yeah. If, if like if if a whatnot streamer, if any breaker wants to rip you off, there are ways that they yeah. can rip you off, and you'll never know. It's just mm -hmm. most of them are oh, lazy there, or there get greedy a... or dumb or whatever it is that they're gonna slip up and yeah on, there, there was camera. that other guy who uh who would cut the packs and then put it to the side oh my god <laughs> yeah. and then grab a grab, grab a different our, yeah and like, then oh, dude, what the fuck? there was the the tiktok dude he made a video about and yeah. he yeah and then he would have other videos and other footage where he's showing off a bunch of hits from those that same set yeah yeah that's that's like that's too obvious. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's the thing too. It's just like, just I can't just have everything on screen the whole time. Make sure there's hits in there, and then like if there's no yeah. bounties and everything's on screen and it's sealed box that's getting opened, uh, and that's something that's preloaded. That yeah. Some reason doesn't crinkle when you open it off camera, but you tell people you're opening it a couple times. Mm-hmm. I don't, uh, that's probably much, uh, pretty much it that I have for you tonight. Again, I yeah. have like a 120 different things to look into all at once here, mm -hmm. but uh, I appreciate yeah. you talking to me. If there's anything else though yeah, that no you'd problem. like to get into, uh, before I let you go, then. Uh, no, I mean, that was, that was it. It's just like, I'm just more worried about like the TV yeah. streamers I had cause they're mm -hmm. girls. So people would come into the chat and say like some fucked up things like, they would call them dumb bitch or like talking about like eating their mom's butthole or some shit like that. Like some fucked up stuff. <laughs> and <laughs> like they're not getting it, called it, it wiener weird, babies or like, G butlers or anything. Yeah, no, like and, and like and then after your video someone someone commented on my Instagram too said, Oh the Lurk Boys the Lurk Boys days the, are over, whatever. Like boys, I'm like yeah. I mean, like you, you can investigate. You could look through mm -hmm. all of our videos. Like on my personal streams, they're all on YouTube as well. Yeah. So, I mean, like, like even even when going through the Blake stuff, like I have like yeah. stuff that's sprouting out that's not even Blake stuff that other people are all of a sudden like noticing or finding that they're sending me. So oh, it's like, like a, it's just like a oh, never other ending streamers. other streamers that were doing similar stuff. There's yeah. there's a there's a lot, man. Like yeah, I mean that's the thing. It's just kind of, it's the same thing with like. All the razzle dazzlers on Facebook or on TikTok or anything else, like mm -hmm. it's just it's either unregulated or like not provable on a lot of it. Like it's, it's mm -hmm. like in, unless they're dumb and they get caught until they're you know until they get caught and then people are like, oh shit, I just I spent however much on these this guy's friggin' raffles that he's running and oh raffles, yeah. And he's been rigging it the whole time because he he ran the <laughs> he ran the selection twenty five times before he got the one that he wanted, and you can see the whole history on it. Or oh my god, just it's that's, a, it's, that, that's it's just like yeah, that's fucked up. People putting themselves in situations that like don't, don't trust anyone, especially if they're giving you free shit, or if they say yeah. it's for the kids, or if they say community every second sentence, or. I don't know what else. Like all of this shit. I mean, that's, just what, like... that's what I do, but I actually like. <laughs> no, I don't. Have don't. Any Ill it's a bad sign. Don't tell me I that. I should probably stop. <laughs> I should probably stop doing that, though. I should probably. Yeah, it's. I, uh... I don't really say like for the community a lot, but I do like. I, yeah. I do give people a lot of stuff. 
Right. Well, you, I want them to feel like kinda, they got their Kind of past that. Like, whenever I said anything <laughs> about anything with, with the packs being off camera, you didn't immediately turn to, uh, I did it for the kids and I give away stuff. No, it's, yeah. That's, our, usually, yeah, that's we, usually we the, 20, the def, that's the 20 deflection. 20 to 30, and then, yeah. Yeah, yeah we, we never swapped, like, anything out. Like, like hmm. anything, like, we got accused of weighing packs. Like, it takes it takes two seconds to weigh a pack, but... I'm not going to sit there, especially yeah. having to run the whole office myself and like, oh, and also you said another thing about like the uh, assistant could be doing it. But when we ran on Blake's, like the intensity was like, oh, yeah. was fast. So we would run, we would run and literally the streamer would have to pass it to the assistant and they would sort the bulk or the hits. They would sleeve it, top load it, and then put it in like uh, the storage. We have like a, a 5k storage boxes, like usually for bulk. So yeah. we would put it in there and then and then the streamer is running the next lot and then it's done and it has to give it to the assistant so it's like like uh like i would be there in the background like making sure inventory is good mm -hmm. and everything and then they i guess that depends on like the check. the game too because i mean like with something like snee taking time in between to sell each individual pack because you're betting on the energy then there's a whole lot mm -hmm. more time in between there than just you know someone opening 10 packs opening 15 packs yeah. You're just ripping through those as quick as possible yeah. versus yeah yeah we, we yeah we would go through like two to three hundred lots like auctions every night so it was like it was a lot to go through yeah but sure. i mean luckily we haven't had any issues with people missing stuff so we're like it's pretty easy. on point yeah did you you guys do anything with the grading uh yeah we actually uh so we offered grading too and it would whatever was like i don't know the exact cost of the grade because they had like a formula but mm -hmm. we would put that in there and it would add to like the profit i guess i guess okay. like for the stream but would, would uh, that like we, that would go to blake and from blake um that was handled through uh, one of his PSA guys, which okay. when we offered grading, we would I would drop it off to him. Okay. So, so the guy that used to us... work at PSA but seemingly doesn't now, but works for Blake now, or uh, until... I'm not exactly sure. Like his I forget his name. His, I just uh, said it today in the background. video, but uh, yeah, August uh, Augustine something like that. That dude. I'm, dude I'm that not was sure like... his like exact background, but um, they wanted us to ship first, and I said, oh. He's uh, local. Can I just drop it off so nothing gets lost in the mail? Okay. And then so it went to him. I, I would just drop it off. Yeah. Did you so drop it off with him and drop at PSA? No, no, no. It, it was at his house. Okay. Is it at Blake's but, house or at his own house? No, no, no. Okay. No, it's, it's not at it's not at Blake's okay. house. But I, I I've seen like all the submissions and like his like spreadsheets and stuff. So. Okay. And him like act like putting in the work. So. Okay. But like uh, I don't I don't understand how like people they're mixing stuff up. Was there, there, there wasn't any issue with that? You didn't have any customers that were like, hey, what the hell? I got the wrong card or... Like, with us, we just started through, like, we, we only did it for three weeks. So yeah. the return time was 60 days. Okay, so they're not back So yet. we, yeah, so we, I guess we won't know. And, like, okay. but, like, they, so they, they have a, I think in, in their Discord, where you can go in there and ask, like, uh, the progress, I guess, of your grade. And they'll get back to them. So they say it's in grading or just submitted or something like that. Or just yeah. received back and going to ship to you or something yeah, like that. QC step three where they do or yeah. don't recognize the fact that there's a dick drawn on it. <laughs> I seen that. That was, that was crazy. I, I never graded. I, I never sent any of my cards out for grading because mm -hmm. I just like, I don't know about grading. How, how, how do you feel about grading? Like I don't grade anything. I don't think it's consistent. Because no, it can just not. depend on the grader. Like, mm -hmm. I, I have some tens that are way off center with whitening, like PSA. Yeah. And just I mean, like you said, we've seen it like time and time again. You get stuff that's upside down, <laughs> or that's got the wrong label on it, yeah. or it's the wrong grade. It's like a PSA two, but it like it's mint. Like. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't think anything from like, like a like a, I don't know how you'd say it, like a clean one, like a good one. Like the top end mm -hmm. of a one all the way up through a six. I feel like if you resubmitted yeah. a one through six, 
Uh, and that's without even getting into 0.5 grades that don't even shouldn't even exist because the, you get yeah. one like once in a blue moon. Like those are never coming back a 0.5. If you send a, I don't mm -hmm. care if it's an 8.5 or something like that, it's not coming back an 8.5. Um, yeah. But, but I, I think, think that one through six, I think the majority of them would come back a different grade. Oh, for sure. If you if so I then, take any of my subs here and regrade it, they will come back completely different. Mm -hmm. There's like, but even like uh, I heard, I don't know if it's true. Even like. Uh, Logan Paul's like illustrate. Wait, he he had an illustrator, right? I heard. Yeah, I have a video I heard on that. that. PSA ten. Yeah, I heard that one got resubmitted like so many times. I couldn't get the exact yeah. number of times that it was resubmitted, but there's pictures of it yeah. as a nine in a pizza box, uh, like a oh, Papa shit. John's. It's got like a piece of pizza and it's yeah. got the little the hot pepper there sitting next to it and the pizza yeah. grease. <laughs> Yeah. And uh, yeah, that was resubmitted a bunch of times. But the thing that's even more funny about that is the fact that it, when it was being resubmit those times, it only cost like seven bucks or something to do it. Oh, shit. So there was no wow. like there was no premium or anything on it. Uh, yeah. So that was like that was like a cursed card to begin with. Of course, they're not going to mention anything like that. Like it was a nine way more times than it was a ten. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And no one can confirm the actual number of how many times it was actually done. But. I'm sure it's the same. It it's the same thing with like the Charizard that he got from Gary, and then all of a sudden it upgrades. Like Gary had brought uh -huh. that Charizard in before to see if it would if it would cross. I mean, with BGS sure... and it wouldn't, but all of a sudden it does. Or if like that ex employee that was uh, submitting sports cards, and all of a sudden he was just getting black labels, like free. Oh uh, yeah, free speaking of black labels, like what? Like there's a there's a. There's a few sellers that sell mm -hmm. a shitload of black labels. Like, how did they acquire so many? Like, I don't know if they're really like buying and flipping yeah, them, or they're, I don't know. Like, there was like a period. It. There was a period recently where it seemed like they were giving them out more. Yeah, um, I see a lot like pop up lately. Honestly. Maybe that was an incentive, but I'm, I'm especially sure the especially I'm the Japanese sure. cards. But yeah, I'm I'm sure if you got the right connections, you can get. Anything pumped up, right? Yeah, I mean, CGC is guilty of that too. I mean, they claim that they don't know who's you know whose cards they're grading or something like that. But you have all these yeah, people I'm that sure. are bringing in the expensive cards to get graded. Yeah, and they want the yeah. they they want the advertising. They want the they want the Logan Paul wearing it around his neck. Or they want the you know any kind of influencer whatsoever bringing something in. Yeah. They wanna they're gonna grade Chum Lee's cards right in front of them. You're gonna sit down with the the head grader. He's gonna get some grades that have never been attained before, uh, right there in front of the grader, live. Um, so like I don't know, it's all it's all BS. It's smoke and mirrors. I think too much yeah. value is put into it. Um, so I just kind of avoid it altogether. I've yeah, purchased I, I, plenty I, I of graded cards, anything. but it's to crack them and put them into my binder master sets. So I I think most of my slabs are from <laughs> from uh, mystery bags. Oh, okay. That I've bought. Hopefully so not I, the, I don't really grade. Like, hopefully not the Blake what's ones. That? No, no. I, uh, it's another big streamer. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to say it, but <laughs> I bought a shitload of their mystery bags. Actually, speaking of Trumbly, I'm actually good friends with him. He actually bought... Uh, he bought a... Fuck, I'm trying to think. Uh, I think it was a $2,000 mystery box. And the floor was a what? thousand. That's what they said. And he got five to six hundred dollars in value after spending two K plus tax. So he was pretty <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> pretty that's... like that's well that that's another big thing on whatnot too. That's what I really hate. Like, like Yeah, those are, are sketchy. Like... I mean yeah, there was there was some of that that came up too. Uh with those what were they called? Those stupid black bags that they were selling. What mystery bags? Yeah, or... there were black mystery bags that were like I don't know. It was like somebody that was associated that was selling them, but then they were like talking about how the the dollar value that can come out of them, but it isn't that because someone else had mentioned. So it's just like, how the hell do you prove it? Unless unless someone sells every single mystery bag, and you yeah. have like a floor and ceiling, like you could just say like, oh, it's in one of the other twenty that are that didn't get mm -hmm. sold today or something like that, like. I don't know. Mystery items in general. I hate mystery items. I hate raffles. I hate bounties. I hate <laughs> I grading. Grading, I don't personally, not for me. If people want to grade their yeah. cards, by all means do it. But, oh man, the like temporary grading companies that popped up 
or anyone that was just like, I need to grade oh, our cards. I need to, I need to, I need to, I need to overpay everything that's yeah. popped up. That it was, it was just like a, Hey, how can we make quick money? And you know, Oh, let's get some plastic shells and we'll call ourselves three letter grading and you know, charge $20 a plastic case. I was like, yeah. please guys stop doing this. It's going to cool off eventually. And you know, some people listened, some people didn't. But... Yeah. Or paying the like super mega premium that uh, PSA was charging at one point in time. Oh, like Express, like yeah. what? How much or was paying... it? Like 200 bucks or something like that? Yeah, something crazy. And then people grading stuff that just like, okay, I get it. If you're going to like grade something because you want to sell it, it's easier to sell. It's in a certain grade. Somebody's going to value it more. Okay, that makes yeah. sense. But when you're grading like base set two in played condition, uh, and it's <laughs> it's not even a hollow, like and it's coming back like a oh, it's, got, it's a four or a five, and just like what the fuck? Why are you spending even twenty dollars on this? Like when the the price of the card is not even close to the the plastic that you're putting on top of it. Yeah, like I, I seen I seen like like a celebration set like the regular hollows in there. Yeah, they're what like a dollar card. Like I seen a lot of those. Being created, yeah. Yeah. Think, like CGC eight, like <laughs> yeah, yeah, just just crazy. All right, now we will let you go. Yeah, I have, uh, you're good. I have another call to make, but okay, you're well, good. If uh, get some stuff. if you need anything else, just let yeah, I'll, you know. let you, I'll let you know. If I run into anything, I'll spam you. Yeah. Okay. All right. Sounds good. I'll All see right. You. Take care. All right. See you. You too. Bye. See you.